that everyone saw in the skies over Arizona. Are we alone? No, I don't mean just you and me. I mean this Earth. Have we had some visitors recently? The buzz is very big in the desert southwest where it's really never gone away after some weird happenings in the skies over Phoenix recently. And here's NBC's Robert Hager. This is one of several home videos recorded that night last March. A few say they saw the lights as far as 100 miles north of Phoenix. Many more saw them over the city or to the south as seen here. At the Phoenix airport, there was nothing unusual on the radar, but controller Bill Grava and his colleagues could see the lights. They were amber colored, very bright, and uh, on a scale of one to five with an airplane light being maybe two, these are four and a half at least. With an Air Force base nearby, many assumed the lights were burning flares suspended from parachutes, but the military says it had only routine fighter flights flying that night and no flares. Some, like Tim and Bobby Lee, claim they saw even more. Something was there. It was a structure. It was going 35 miles an hour. It was huge. It didn't make a sound. And uh, you tell me what can do that. Since all this comes just a year after the movie Independence Day depicted an alien invasion, comes just as Roswell, New Mexico, prepares for the 50th anniversary of what many UFO buffs swear was the crash of a flying saucer there in 1947. And coincides with UFO cover stories in the current Time magazine and popular science as well. It's no surprise, then, the new Phoenix phenomenon would excite UFO believers there, such as Jim Delatosa. What an interesting possibility that extraterrestrials know that all this discussion is happening and they did a show for us. Just a possibility. Dilatoso, who has a computer graphics lab, has created imaginative video simulations of what he believes various eyewitnesses could have been seeing over Phoenix that night. But air traffic controller Grava senses a more earthly explanation. It's either flares that are very bright in intensity. It's, it's kind of hard to believe, though, that they would be on the same plane, the same distance, the same uh, spacing apart, uh, and the same intensity. Or it's something that the military is uh, experimenting, testing that, uh, that we don't know about. A secret operation, an elaborate hoax, or a spacecraft with little green pilots. Regardless, it's the stuff of Hollywood, coming not to a theater near you, but playing now in the Southwest Desert. Robert Hager, NBC News, Washington. Back here on Earth, that's Nightly News for Wednesday, tonight on Internight on...